Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Picks. I'm Peter Loshak. Today is Wednesday, uh, September 14th. Sitting next to me is Mike Brenner. This is the Odds Couple NFL Show. We are talking with Al McMorty from BigAl.com, industry veteran. Always love to hear what he has to say. Yes, right, Mike Brenner. no doubt. And uh, we are going to take a look at the Ravens-Browns right now from NFL Week 2. I hope that uh, Al McMorty uh, agrees with my opinion because I bet this one, Mike Brenner. I'll tell I you bet what. I know what side you bet. Well, I took the Browns at plus 7. I think Holy that obviously, obviously uh, you know, RG3 is out. I just think it's an overreaction. I don't think I'm that impressed. I don't know if I saw what any Anything uh, with what the Ravens did last week that makes me think they should really be this big of a road favorite here? Let you want to hear what Al has to say? I would say? love to hear what Al has All to right. say. All right. Al real. McMorty from BigAl.com. Great website. He gives four free picks every day. He'll talk about that more at the end of the video. Al McMorty, obviously we know why this line is where it is. RG3 out. Is that an overreaction, you think? You know, I agree with you. You know, I mean, for, for me, the key factor in this game is that, you know, although Baltimore won last week, they only – defeated Buffalo by a score of 13 to 7. Right. And of course Cleveland lost on the road 21 or 29 to 10, you know, against Philadelphia. And obviously the Browns are a mess, but Baltimore's win sort of you know obscures the fact that they only got 13 points at home. And I'm just not comfortable laying almost a touchdown in yeah. the NFL with a team that is hard pressed to score points. And indeed, if you go back to 1980, in the NFL, favorites of minus two and a half points or more. They're a terrible 12 and 36 against a spread in week two versus opponents off a straight up and against a spread loss if our favorite team did not score 14 points in its opener. So that's one reason, of course, that I like Cleveland here. Another is that Baltimore is a wallet busting a one, 10, and two pushes their last 13 games as a road favorite. And so I'm going to take the points with the Cleveland Browns, Peter. Awesome. I love it when I have an opinion uh, and then Al's uh, in-depth analysis. Yeah, I saw a piece come over you. Yeah, I, he, yeah. yeah Al McWhorty, you weren't seeing me in the studio, <laughs> but there was. I, was, I had an anxiety-ridden face before I, when I asked the question, and then a piece came over me when you gave your analysis. You know what I'm going to do, Mike Brenner, on my official record tracking? I'm going to throw the Browns plus seven on it. What well, do you think of what Well, you, you know what? I'm plus, not plus kidding. Plus seven minus $1.30. Yes, minus that's fine. I'll take, I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll take that. I mean, it's, it's a weird line because it's six, six or six and a half or seven yeah. market-wide. Uh, I was all set to go the the other way and say, no, you, no. God, you guys got some big balls calling us, but when Al laid that last stat yeah. on me about about Baltimore on the road as a favorite, yeah. hell, I got no choice but to jump uh, off actually, that train. Actually, actually I, I misspoke. Baltimore is 1-10 in 10 with two pushes as a favorite, not as a road favorite. Right. Okay. Oh, okay, as a favorite. But still, that speaks volumes. So, uh, yeah, there. Uh, although I, I think Harbaugh is the better coach, no doubt, I think he'll have his team ready. I personally think Flacco and company might, might break out maybe this weekend, but I'm not kidding. That number itself tells me there's something deeper to look into. So I may change my mind, but right now I certainly I don't know. wouldn't try to talk bill, you two off the The Bills had anemic ledge. offense. I don't think we saw anything last week that makes yeah. me think that they should be this big of a favorite. Al McCordy yeah. from BigAl.com. Good Thanks stuff. so much. He's recommending a play on the Browns plus seven. I'm adding that to my uh, my permanent record here on these shows. And Al yep. McCordy's website is BigAl.com. And there's a lot you can find there, including four free picks each week. Is that right, Al? Tell us a little bit more about that. That's right. If folks go to BigAl.com, there's four complimentary selections, no strings attached, nothing to buy. Just go to BigAl.com and click on free picks, and you'll see two free picks from myself. And then on our homepage, you can get a free pick from Larry Ness and a free pick from Scott Spritzer every day at BigAl.com. Thanks, wow. Al. Like it, Al. Go to SBRodds.com. Browse, compare, and shop live odds available at top online sportsbooks.